Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony Profasi. Thank you for joining me in this video today. We are talking about nutrient deficiency testing and we're gonna be going over what is actually specifically tested when we look at nutrient deficiencies. Now, if you're tuning in on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our videos. If you are watching on Facebook or other social media, please make sure you like this information, share this information. This is really beneficial for a lot of people who are dealing with health conditions. So we want everybody to benefit from this. So today we're talking about what is tested when we do nutrient deficiency testing. Now, this is a question that we're often asked and it's a good question because you need to know. So some of the things we test for are things like vitamins, minerals, nutrients, amino acids, etc. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now, why do we test for these things, okay? First, we test for these things because chronic health conditions all and, and general health often can become depleted in specific nutrients. And in order just to run metabolic processes in the body, we need a lot of different nutrients from specific vitamins to specific minerals to specific nutrients, okay? So very important, very important. So what are some of the things that we test? Well, I have actually a sample report here of some of the nutrients that we test. And on this sample report, we have things like vitamin A. So this is a fat-soluble vitamin. So we look at fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, right? So fat, fat-soluble, right? So not fat-soluble, I think. Fat-soluble vitamins, okay? So this includes, this includes A, D, E, and K. Now, why do we check for these? We check for vitamins A, D, E, and K for a number of reasons. A, vitamin A, is really important for your eye health. It's also really important for your immunity. Vitamin D is crucial for nearly everything in the body. Super important for immunity. Super important for literally everything. There's a lot of benefits of vitamin D. We could make an hour-long video on vitamin D alone. Vitamin E, very good for your cells, which is also good for your skin. It's a very strong antioxidant, which helps us prevent aging, essentially. So again, when we oxidize, we are causing aging. So we want to take enough antioxidants to protect us from that. And vitamin E is a great one. Vitamin K is also important, as vitamin K is not only good for your gut, it's good for the clotting process. So very important for those. So we check for these, vitamins A, D, E, and K. The next thing we also look at is some water-soluble vitamins. So water-soluble vitamins. And these include things like vitamin C. Why do you need vitamin C? Well, vitamin C, again, is a super potent antioxidant. And really quickly, again, we have fat-soluble versus water-soluble. Now, fat-soluble means that if we were to take a glass of water and we were to pour olive oil in the water, well, water and oil don't mix very well. So the, the oil will actually sit above the water. And so if we took a spoon of, of vitamin D and we, it was a liquid vitamin D and we put it over water, again, it would float above the water. So it doesn't mix, but it's soluble, in, um, it's soluble into fat. So when we take these nutrients and when someone um, has deficiencies in these nutrients and we help them benefit and we raise their status back up, we always make sure that they're eating it with plenty of fat so that it gets assimilated into their body and into their cells. Water-soluble vitamins, on the other hand, are different. They are, again, they mix well with water. So these are things like vitamin C. So as we said, Vitamin C, crucial for antioxidant protection, really great for the adrenal glands, uh, many, many different functions, again, in the body. Vitamin B, now, vitamin B comes with vitamin B complex, right? And we have so many different types of vitamin B, um, vitamin B nutrients. So, vitamin B1, which is thiamine, vitamin B2, which is known as riboflavin, vitamin B3, which is known as niacin, we have vitamin B5, which is known as pantothenic acid or pantothenate. Again, there's different varieties of, of these different nutrients, which we won't go over in this video. That could be another whole talk. 
Okay, we have vitamin B6, which is known as pyridoxin, pyridoxal. We have vitamin B9, which is folate, folic acid. We have vitamin B12, which is cobalamin, right? We have all these different types of vitamins, which are super important for B vitamins. Now, what do you need B vitamins for? You need B vitamins for everything. B vitamins drive so many metabolic processes. They drive so many different reactions in the body. Um, you need B vitamins to produce your neurotransmitters, to produce your hormones. So B vitamins are crucial. As you can see already, what is tested is extremely important and this is exactly why we do nutrient deficiency testing. Because without actually identifying accurately what the patient needs, then they could be just taking random supplements and it's not even doing anything or any good for them. So those are some of them. Some other um, fat soluble vitamins that we look for, well we, again we said, we said we look at vitamin C, the B vitamins, right? Okay, um, those are some right there. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Some of the other nutrients that we also look for though are things like amino acids, okay? So amino acids. Now why do we need amino acids? Why do we test for amino acids? You might, you might be thinking, well, you know, I'm sure many of you have heard of amino acids. If you have been in the exercise world or have gone to a gym, you've probably heard of amino acids. Take amino acids after you work out and amino acids are the building the blocks of protein. And yes, this is true, absolutely. But we test for amino acids because they have a lot of other functions in the body, including making your neurotransmitters, right? So when we break down food, when we break down protein in our stomach via uh, enzymes and stuff like that, we won't go over this as well, but when we break down protein, this releases um, smaller links of protein known as peptides and that breaks down into amino acids. And it's these amino acids which are really crucial for a lot of things in the body. And one of the most crucial things that we need amino acids for and why we test for amino acids is because there are three main amino acids which make up your body's most potent antioxidant, and that is known as glutathione. Okay, so it's known as glutathione. Now, glutathione is really your, your master antioxidant in the body. It protects you from so many different things. And glutathione is actually made up of three amino acids, which are cysteine, glutamate, and then glycine. And so these are, again, this is just one example of why you need amino acids. You also need amino acids to make neurotransmitters, hormones. You need amino acids to actually build protein in the body, right? So we break down protein that we eat, we form amino acids, which helps now produce other proteins in the body, right? So crucial, crucial information and crucial, this is why we test these things, okay? Some of the other things we, that we look for are things like um, fatty acids, okay? So fatty acids. So what does this mean? And why, why do we test for fatty acids? Well, fatty acids are very important and it's because of this. Again, your brain is made up of a majority of fatty acids. Um, your cell membranes are also made up of fatty acids. And fatty acids are important because because of the standard American diet is really high in what's known as omega-6 fatty acids, we need to instead start consuming more omega-3 fatty acids. Now there's a difference between the two. We also have omega-9 fatty acids. There's many different strains and um, chain types, chain lengths of fatty acids. And so this is important. Um, we also have unsaturated versus saturated fats which all of this, again, we, we look at all of this. And so this is important because if we have a low omega-3 fatty acid status, we know that this patient now is more inflamed. They could be have a lot of systemic inflammation. And this is just one way of assessing this. But it's very important and lends us uh, the idea to, you know, if they're very deficient in fatty acids, well, we need to then supplement with the correct fatty acids that they might be deficient in. So this is another thing that is tested. And then finally, some of the other things that are tested, and we'll talk about them really quickly, are nutrients, specific nutrients, such as by, um, nutrient, what's a nutrient coenzyme Q10. I'll write it out actually. You always often see it as CoQ10, 
but I'll write it out as coenzyme Q10. Now, why is coenzyme Q10 super important? Well, coenzyme Q10 is found in literally every single cell in your body that has mitochondria. So why is that important? Well, coenzyme Q10 drives your metabolic processes and without it, you will feel very fatigued. You might have a lot of brain fog. You might be depressed. You might have anxiety. You might have malabsorption issues. There's all of these things that are affected um, by nutrient status. And this is why you look for this. Now, something like Again, and we could talk about this for a long time, but for example, when we have um, things like a, the drug known as a statin, right, a statin drugs. Now, many people are, are on statin medications. Statin medications are to decrease your cholesterol. Now, what statin medications also do, though, is they deplete this nutrient in your body. So what is the most common symptom of a statin drug, of a cholesterol drug? Well, it's fatigue, right? It's muscle and it can be muscle pain as well. So this again indicates that, you know, these are crucial nutrients in the body, all of these things. And so this is why we test for them because if we just, you know, say here's a supplement, we can't just give people supplements because there's no rhyme or reason for why we're doing that, and that's not going to benefit anybody. And so this is why we do specific nutrient deficiency testing, because as you can see, these nutrients, and we test for a lot of other things, these nutrients are crucial for so many different body systems and, and, and organs to work properly. So I hope this video helped you today. Um, again, a lot of information here, um, but if it helped you, please, if you're on um, YouTube, please again, subscribe, and if you're watching this on Facebook, Make sure you like, you share this information. There's a lot of people that can benefit from this. And again, our mission is to help as many people as possible. We truly want to help 100 million people on this earth get better from chronic health conditions. So again, I'm Dr. Anthony Crafasi. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.